All right, so we have Team B over here, which um, is the Apocalypse, a Myrmidon, an Executor, and a Dragoon. They are mostly going to, or they're mostly kind of farther out. We're going to see how they rush in or if they actually do rush in. Yeah, and on the red side, uh, the entire team coming in 50 there, we've got the Tempest, Hurricane, Scythe, Tower, and Vigil. So they are looking to kite by the looks of it. They're looking to probably just burn away and try and keep range using the artes of that hurricane, using the long range application of that Tempest and just try and wear down uh, the Tempest team. So the match will be starting in about 10 seconds uh, and we will see exactly what all the teams are going to do. Now that APOC uh, he is sitting only 20 kilometers from the beacon. Uh, if that was me, I would have probably brought that in at 50, but they do have their lodges sitting behind them. So I think they're expecting to just turn and burn as well. Immediately, the Vigil of Fafer, um just burning around to the side. He wants to stay as far away as possible from the light tackle ships of, uh, of goggle-wearing internet crime fighters. And drones being dropped everywhere on the arena right now from both teams as they just start to circle and get into position to start And it looks like everybody is going for the Lodges. It looks like the Scythe is going down along with the Execor, but they both seem to be able to tank it a little bit for right now. Yeah, in a match such as this with 5-on-5, five five, going for the Lodge is usually quite a strong choice. Uh, it just removes a huge amount of staying power. And the Scythe of The Mr. Scythe is going Ricker, down. It's just like eating going down it right hard. now. Probably from the, the drones. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe Apothne was right about that Myrmidon, but maybe uh, maybe that was the right choice. Although so we the do have the Myrmidon going down. scramming it's the gone. hurricane, and that is a big deal for that hurricane. He does not want to get scrammed. He wants to be able to just pull range and apply his damage. The executor, there he is. The Tempest is actually is super no strong problem. right now. Yeah, it's a bit of a strange decision now. We're going to see split damage on the goggle wearing into crime fighters, with some damage going onto that executor, some onto the Myrmidon. And going for that Myrmidon with the executor still up and still in pretty much optimal range while your hurricane is tackled is a strong choice. Uh, and I think at this point we're starting to see the match already swing towards uh, the goggle wearing into crime fighters. And it looks like the Rifter actually did a super good job uh, tackling the Tempest because it's kind of just stuck there, not able to do a whole lot. It's barely moving. So hopefully they'll be able to, to bring him down pretty quickly after they can get that hurricane destroyed. Well, since that hurricane goes down, that is a huge chunk of damage gone from the Goggle Ring Internet Crime Fetters. I did get the teams mixed up on the last uh, last statement. but And that is him down. So now it's really just that Tempest left. Now, the Tempest does have a pretty strong uh, local tank. It's a strong battleship just in general and one of my favorite battleships in this tournament. But against a APOC, Myrmidon, Executor, Dragoon, and Rifter, I really don't think he has much of a chance here. Um, he could be a hero. He could be the hero that his team needs. Kill this Myrmidon, tackle the Executor, and just work his way slowly through the rest of the team. However, being as he's in very low shield, I really doubt that will that is what will happen. But he is he is a shield tank, so it might it might be able to to tank it for a little bit longer. Yeah, but just without um without the damage of that hurricane, I don't think he's gonna be able to break that Myrmidon under Executor reps. That Executor now is just able to get into pure optimal on that Myrmidon and just sit there and just he doesn't have to really bother anyone. He could probably go make a cup of tea, just sit down and chill while his team works their way through that Tempest as he's going to run out of charges pretty soon and disappear. So it looks like the Tawar um, is just kind of floating around, hoping to grab something. So I'm wondering if it's going to actually be able to, to catch something and bring something else down. Yeah, at this point, there's not really much he can do except maybe go try and solo that Rifter. And the Tempest and he can, is uh, gone. Give the only kill from his team and tell the rest of them to stop being so bad. But that will be them out of the tournament. This is a single elimination tournament, so that will be Templus winning and taking uh, the first match of the EVNT Cup uh, with goggle wearing internet crime fighters t being the first to fall. And we're seeing lots of GS and local here. Which is always good to see both teams probably had a great time everyone's going to enjoy this cup i'm pretty sure I, I, just looking at the schedule i think we're going to see some absolutely fantastic matches all today and all tomorrow
What do you think was, was the, the, the turning point in this fight? I think that um, the Myrmidon tackling the Hurricane was a pretty key mistake um, for the Gogbring Internet Crime Fighters because with that Hurricane tackled, it's an Arte Hurricane, um, he is not really able to apply as much damage. He can't get the, the uh, he needs the low transversal really. So if that Myrmidon is on him, tackled him, he just can't get the transversal uh, down on that Myrmidon and apply his damage, which means you're almost taking him out of the fight without even killing him. All right, awesome. Well, it looks like everything is over here, so we can go ahead and give this back to Apophne.